Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Breach Guide. This is going to be about which abilities you can link together with a different agent, with enemy perspective as well, down in the right corner. We're gonna start off with Breach and Brimstone. It's going to be Incendiary plus Faultline. So charge up, use Faultline, then send out the Incendiary. A lot of damage with the slow. Works with the Viper and Phoenix as well. With this combo, you can force enemies out of corners, or you can block off angles completely. This is one of the many ways you can make a Viper usable on attack, for example. Next up is Rolling Thunder plus Orbital Strike. Use Rolling Thunder first so that you get the knockout plus the slow. And that makes it so that the Orbital Strike can get the full damage, but also so that the enemies can't escape and you still are able to enter site. You want to leave some angles where you can enter site so that you don't block off the entry for yourselves. Next up is Breach and Cypher, Faultline plus Trapwire. You use the Faultline after the Trapwire has been triggered. Very easy because you see the target. And they're going to be distracted because they have to shoot the trapwire. Then we have flashpoint plus trapwire. Same concept. You use the flashpoint when the trapwire is triggered. Faultline plus spike M. You use the spike M to tag someone and then faultline. It's a bit harder to pull off with uh, flashpoint and uh, faultline, but you can still do it. You just need to see the rough enemy outlines. Next up is Breach and Jet, Faultline plus Tailwind. You use Faultline to open up an angle for Jet. She Tailwinds in. This way your Jet can move in without having to worry about the extra delay you know, when you pick up your weapon after a Tailwind. Next up is Rolling Thunder plus Tailwind. Same thing, but greater effect. This way you can up open up the angle and shoot multiple enemies without having to worry about line of sight. Then we have Breach and Phoenix, Faultline plus Curveball. You use Faultline to clear one angle and then Curveball to clear another angle. And that way, you can pretty much open up a site completely. Flashpoint plus run it back. Personal favorite. Use Flashpoint to pop flash for your teammate. And that way they can spend more time shooting instead of potentially dying to a headshot or having to do the curveball alone. Then with Rolling Thunder plus run it back. Same concept, but this time they get knocked up and you get dazed for 6 seconds. In those 6 seconds you can have your Phoenix pop off, you can rotate, you can, your team can rotate. You can hold angles, you can flank, you can do a spike plant, you can do pretty much whatever you want because it's a huge and really strong ult. Reach and race, flashpoint plus showstopper, pretty self-explanatory. You flash and then use the bazooka. Rolling thunder plus showstopper is pretty much the same type of combo, but let's say that you have multiple enemies you want to cover, multiple angles. Breach and Sage, Faultline plus Slow Orb. It's an uh, extremely, extremely slow, strong slow. It's like walking on glue. You Slow Orb and then you Faultline. Or you can Faultline and then Slow Orb. In any case, it's really, really, really slow walking. Breach and Sova, Owl Drone plus Flashpoint. You use the Owl Drone to uh, scout and tag someone and then you Flashpoint. Very strong, nice. Out drone plus aftershock. You use the aftershock to clear an area or make enemies move because if they if they don't don't move, they, they're gonna take a lot of damage and potentially dying. Then we have out drone plus fault line. Same concept. You use it to stun them and then move in and kill them. Then recon bolt plus fault line. Very strong versus snipers because if an enemy is very far back, your out drone is not gonna reach or it's probably gonna get shot or whatever. Faultline is really strong with Recon Bolt because of how far both abilities reach. You don't even need to be close to each other to make them work. So yeah, try it out, try it out. Then we have Recon Bolt plus Flashpoint, same thing. Very long distance, very long range I mean on your Flashpoint. You go in, shoot, you know exactly where they are. Next up is Recon Bolt plus Aftershock. You use this to clear an area or make enemies have to move. Recon Bolt plus Rolling Thunder, it's a bit overkill. But you can, you can use it to scout where enemies are and it's pretty good for big sites like Bind where you can't cover the whole site with your rolling thunder. And that's all guys, thank you so much for watching, leave a comment, subscribe and like the video and I'll see you guys later.